Hello everyone, my name is Radler Gertrude, and welcome to my first ever DIY video. So basically, in DIY videos, I go through steps and show you guys how to make something so you guys could do it at home. And if you didn't know, DIY actually stands for Do D It I yourself. Why? DIY do it yourself. So I show you guys how to do something yourself. And that something in this video happens to be flavored ice cubes. And it was an amazing moment when I found out that I can make flavored ice cubes really easily too. So you really don't need that much stuff at all. So right here I have different beverages and drinks that I'm going to use for the ice cubes. And all you need for this is a freezer, obviously. Drinks, obviously. An ice cube tray. And also toothpicks but you don't need these these are kind of optional so I'll show you what you do with these later if you want to use them okay so let's get straight into this okay so right now I'm going to show you guys the different beverages that I got for the flavored ice cubes obviously you don't need these ones they're not required or anything I'm just using them as examples for the flavored ice cubes and yeah I'll do a taste test at the end so I'll pop these into the ice tray put them in the freezer wait a few hours and then I'll do a taste test and tell you which ones I think are the best so first up we have which one I predict I think I am going to like the best and we have Gatorade just the regular blue Gatorade and yeah I I think I'm, my prediction is that I'm going to like this one the best. Next up, we have some Sprite, and I think I think the soda ones are pretty good, the soda flavored ice cubes, so yeah, I think I'll like this, and Sprite is my favorite soda too. Moving on, we have Coca-Cola, and then the last soda is ginger ale. And right here, we have lemonade in one of these juice pouches. I think this would be pretty good. I love lemonade, so hopefully this would be good. And last up, we have orange juice, and you might be wondering why am I using the rest of the orange juice for just one flavored ice cube, but no, I got another one. So yeah, I'm not actually using the rest of the orange juice just for a flavored ice cube. I actually have more orange juice because I feel like this is going to be gross. And I, I don't know, it might be different. This might be the one I think is the best. But yeah, this might not go so good, but it's worth the try. And of course, we have the ice cube tray, so let's actually start putting the beverages into the ice cube tray. So actually, as you can see, six of them are already full from just regular ice cubes, so I'm going to have to kind of push those out of the way and just use these ones. So I have ten empty slots for these six beverages that I have right here. So I'm going to do two of the Gary because I think that's going to be the best one of the orange juice, obviously. And yeah, I'll work out how many I'm going to do of the other ones also. Okay, let's do the orange juice one first. It's a very delicate procedure. There we go. Am I going to use- Oh my god! No, no, no. Things are going wrong. Things are going wrong. Just overflow. No, 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 no! As you guys could see, I screwed up pretty quickly, so actually I'm going to have to take all this out and then pour the orange juice in more carefully next time. Man, I'm stupid. Okay guys, I actually cleaned out the slots that got some of the orange juice in them, they're pretty much clean, but hopefully the other flavored ice cubes won't have any flavor of orange juice in them. Hopefully I did clean them enough, but now let's be more careful and just fill in one and not overflow it. Okay, I think that's good. That's perfect. Okay, moving on, we have the lemonade. Next up, the ginger ale. Okay, now, the Coca-Cola. I'm going to do two of this one. Okay, now the Sprite. I'm going to do two of this one also. And last up, the Gatorade. So there are three slots left, so I'm going to do three of the Gatorade. And I also think this is going to be the best one, so that's good also. Okay, and done with filling them all in. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys what to do with the toothpicks. As I said before, this is optional. You don't need to do this. But basically, you want to take one toothpick and stick it into the flavored ice cube slots. And at least have half of it sticking out. Because when the flavored ice cube freezes, you don't want the toothpick to be fully submerged into it. And that won't be fun eating. So when it freezes, you would actually have kind of a handle, so it will be easier to take out, and you would have a handle when you're eating the ice cubes. Okay, and the last one, 
Okay, now we're ready to pop these in the freezer and wait a few hours and then I'll do the taste test later. Okay, you gotta be very careful with these because if they tip over, you're done for. Okay, we're good. I'll slide this back in carefully. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a few hours when they're hopefully all frozen, and then I'll do the taste test for you and tell you which ones are the best. So I'll see you guys in a few hours. Okay, guys, it's been a few hours. Now I think it's time to take the flavored ice cubes out of the freezer. Last time I checked on them was about an hour ago, and they were all frozen except for the Coca-Cola, which is right here. So I think that freezes slower because it was a bit slushy. Um, and the other ones were pretty much frozen. Okay, so here they are. So as you can see about what I said about the toothpicks, they just kind of frozen them, and now they are kind of like handles. So I'll try the orange juice one first. Yeah, that came out good. I said that this one was going to be the worst one, but that's actually kind of good. Okay, now I'll just set it right here on this paper towel. Now let's try, I think this is the Sprite one. There we go. All right, I think this one's the best one so far. Okay, now on to, actually no, that wasn't, was this the Sprite one? I think it was the Sprite one. Actually, it might have been the ginger ale, but I think this one might be the ginger ale. I don't, yeah, this one looks like it. All right, this one's a bit slushy too. The Coca-Cola ones were too. It's dripping. Now the Coca-Cola. Yeah, as you can see, the they're pretty slushy. So if you do this, you would want to leave these in there longer. And same with the ginger ale. I think that was the ginger ale. And you would want to leave these in longer than the other ones. But I'll just try it anyways. Mm, it's pretty good. Okay, now I think this is the spray one. Because I thought the other one was. They kind of look the same. But I think the other one was the ginger ale. So I think this is the Sprite. Yeah, this one is the Sprite. I think that's the best one out of all of them. Okay, now on to the last one, the Gary one. I predicted that this one was going to be the best one. It came out good. Yeah, I think it's either between this one or the Sprite one that are the best ones. Okay, so I'm going to say that either the Gatorade or the Sprite was the best. The orange juice was actually better than I thought. I thought that one would be kind of gross. And the Coca-Cola one I think was my least favorite because it, it was also slushy too. And then I think it was the ginger ale, then the orange juice, then the, then the, um, the Sprite. And then the Gary. I think the Gary was my favorite. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoy my first ever DIY video. If you make these, I hope they turn out okay. And as I said before, the Coca-Cola one and the Sprite one, they were kind of slushy, so you might want to leave those in a bit longer than the other ones. Obviously, you don't have to use these the same drinks that I used. Um, these were just as examples. But thank you all so much for watching. I'm definitely looking forward to doing more of these DIY videos in the future. But this is the end of this one here. So for now, I want to thank you for watching. And hopefully, I will see you all later. Goodbye.